Okay, it's on. Welcome, Body Yoda Sufferers. Uh, today, I have another, it's not really an article, but it is a PDF of information. Bruce Leroy was so uh, benevolent to grant me this information. He actually emailed me this information um, some time ago, and he told me that he found this on a leaky gas forum page, and he saved it, and then he just shot it out to me to see if I can use it. I am going to review this stuff because there is a lot of information. Basically, there's a, a collection of success stories and the different methods they use to try to cure. Or, there's no way to cure this thing, but at least treat their odor. And apparently, there's about 56 success stories. I'm not going to go through all of them, and I'm going to try to make this video under 10 minutes. But let's just read the first success case, right? And it says the first post. A little history first. IBS-A generally C for 2-2 to 3 weeks, then have about D, which is a relief after long C. I don't know what the fuck I'm reading. D usually lasts 3 to 5 hours, then leaves me with a real queasy feeling that follows for about 4 to 5 more hours then straight back to, to the sea with the gas bloating discomfort. My gas is the worst part for me because it can't be stopped, put off, or controlled. When it isn't plain outright noisy and obnoxious, it is leaky gas that smells even worse like rotten eggs. Now, what has shown some dramatic improvement? I started with L-glutamine. Uh, GNC glutamine 5000 is the kind I have, about 30 bucks at GNC or Rite Aid. Bodybuilders use it to repair tissue after workouts and increase energy by increasing the metabolism of sugars into energy. I got it because it is known for repairing intestine tissue. I am seeing some bonus results along with that though. I have also started calcium, vitamin D, and magnesium supplements. I have been showing bone density loss for the last few years and I knew I needed to try and supplements supplement was afraid to with the nearly constant constipation while reading on this forum i found out that magnesium citrate may help with that so i added it along with calcium and of course you need the vitamin d to absorb the calcium so altogether this is what has happened all of my ibs systems have decreased i would say about by 95 percent the other five percent that i am still experiencing are more likely due to the foods i'm eating that i haven't been i haven't been before the one thing is after i eat i get a little gas but they are a little toots without that obnoxious odor there are still sometimes i will need to keep eliminating from my diet like pizza it was that, that i couldn't eat or drink anything without starting my problems by not eating at all and only drinking water i could keep symptoms to a minimum at best and i could only do that for three days not to mention that isn't good for you all the time even for just three days no one needs proper nutrition one needs proper nutrition Anyways, to sum it up, it's been making me feel pretty, make me feel pretty back to normal for about ten days. I hope it continues to work, and perhaps it even gets better. But I have to wait and see on that. Another thing to consider is that each person has different needs. I knew I needed to give them my intestines some healing, and I knew I needed calcium. So that is what I set out to accomplish. Different people would need different dosage, which is why I didn't know post how much I take for cow D mag. But the glooming is said that the, under normal circumstances, you make enough yourself. But when you have a malabsorption problem or intestinal inflammation, you may not be able to. However, if you can fix those issues, you should no longer need to supplement with it. I'll tell you the form I bought doesn't taste bad and is ingredient at all. Just a mild berry flavor mixed with water. Easy to drink. I take it two times a day on an empty stomach. Word of caution on that one. If you are diabetic, it is a scientific fact that it does change sugar insulin levels so you should play pay close attention to that um there's a lot of shit for the first success story let's skip to another one because i'd spent so much time reading it you can read it yourself because i'm going to download this shit um i mean i'm gonna put put a link in the description so you can look at it yourself let's just jump to success case uh number 10 let's see if this is pretty good all right basically my uncle does not notice any odors anymore he is someone i can trust also, just being in crowded public places, I don't get weird reactions anymore. I found when I did control the odor, I juiced the garlic every day with carrots, beets, ginger, and apples. I juiced about two to three, two or three garlic cloves every day with two to four big carrots, one quarter of a beet known for blood cleaner, and one fourth to one half of ginger, good for digestion, and about two to three apples. As for onions, 
As far as onions, I just add them to my dark green, green vegetables. Romaine lettuce or boiled cabbage with some rice. I notice the dark green vegetables, romaine lettuce, and steamed or boiled cabbage had the second biggest impact on controlling the odor, which I picked up a tip from Dr. Oz and Oprah's show. The first big impact for me was to temporarily, con temporarily controlling the odor was to go vegan by eliminating all refined sugars, proteins, breads, alcoholic beverage, milk, etc. And the third biggest impact controlling the odor temporarily was by juicing. I tried to eat raw as much as I can to fight off any bacteria. Remember, for me, these were only a temporary solution by eating high greens vegan diet and juicing till I found the root of my dilemma. I did have underweight problems and in the process of gaining the weight back, basically now I eat anything, I eat anything so I'm just elated to go back to our normal diet, all thanks to Jesus Christ and some family members. Damn, Jesus saved the day? Shit. Okay, let's go to success case number 20. A while ago, a girl with LG said that her doctor prescribed a probiotic called Florastor. You take it twice a day and multivitamin pills taken once a day. And in about four days, she stopped getting leaky gas. I guess LG is leaky gas. Um, and also her anus stopped feeling warm when she was around people. I bought Florastor and multivitamins. Super Nutrition Simply One Men Iron Free and took both every day as long as I was taking them. I never had a leaky guts or fecal body odor, FBO's fecal body odor, and I didn't even get any signs from people before. People would sniff and cough and cover their mouths around me. In addition to taking fluorastor and multivitamin pills, I also took a probiotic called Primodophilus Rutri twice a day. It's only about $10 for 30 pills, and I also took fish oil pills called Nordic Naturals. While I was taking these things, I ate some problem foods once a week like sweets and they didn't cause any problems. It has been a couple of weeks since I stopped taking Florastor. I still take the multivitamin pills and I haven't had LG leaky gas come back. I highly recommend that everyone here try taking Florastor and multivitamin pills for at least one month just to see if it can cure your LG. Some people have tried the Candida diet um had their lg cured but it hasn't worked for everyone so far it seems that only me and that other girl i have tried have tried fluorester and multivitamins and it worked for both of us if more people try fluorester and multivitamin methods and it works then we can spread the word and tell others that this is a good solution to the problem if you have any questions i'd be happy to answer them ask them in this thread or send me a private message here are some links okay here's some links to fluorester and the probiotics he uses so that's great so good you have some links you can try let's see if you can go to this link no, you can't. Let me see. Let me see if I can go to this link. Hold up. Copy. Paste. Okay, so that page doesn't exist. Fantastic. Well, let's jump to case 30 now, shall we? It's like eight minutes now, so I guess this will probably be like the last one I'm going to read. So, success case number 30. I have been having a fecal body odor for the last four to five years off and on. I recently start taking zinc vitamins and they are working for me. I found out about zinc uh, vitamins from an herbal medicine book that I purchased. Zinc helps the digestive system and is recommended for several things such as constipation, irregular bowel syndrome, dandruff, and much more. I started using 40 um, milligrams daily for about two weeks and then downsized to 30 milligrams every other day. Right now I'm taking 30 milligrams but I cut it in half and I take it every two to three days. I've noticed a difference. It works. When I do not take it, I can smell the fecal body odor and can tell by others' reactions as well. In addition to taking zinc, I also tr drink plenty of water, eat fruits and vegetables on a daily basis, and I cannot forget a lot of prayer that this body odor does not return. However, I have a small problem with hair shedding. I'm not quite sure if this is a result from zinc pills. I have consulted with two physicians and a pharmacist and was told that zinc is good for the hair. So I doubt zinc is causing a problem, but I have decided to downsize my zinc intake to a half a pill. As stated as above, and it still works, I started taking them around late March 2006. I noticed the difference almost immediately, like in a week. I work with teenagers, and I noticed that they would say that something stinks in the classroom, and this reaction was only when they were near me. Once I started taking the pills, their reaction stopped, and so did my boyfriend's. He would tell me when the odor was present. Please feel free to email me anytime, and I hope that this helps. Remember to drink plenty of water, eat fruits and vegetables. I think this, I think this helps with the digestive system a lot. I honestly think the the vegetables or the diet actually play a major factor as opposed to the zinc, because I tried zinc before and that shit didn't help me. 
Well, any case, there's like about like 56 different things. And it's funny because I feel like I've read some of these uh, success stories before. Um, but at the same time, I don't think most people have read these success stories. So this is probably going to be new for a lot of people. I'm going to put the link in the description so you can view it yourself and see if you can download it. I don't know if you have the ability to download it. But I'm going to try to make it seem like I'm going to try to make it be possible to make it downloadable. That made any sense. That sounded very weird the way that I said it. But in any case, yeah, I'm going to end it right here. You guys have a good day.